guys good morning here it's a chilly morning currently like 30 some degrees we're here at ihop for a catering order from delivered i think it's paying 40 bucks it's pretty early in the morning it's currently 8 37 technically two minutes late i'm also behind the video i just haven't had time the editing takes time and time is something i don't have will the order be ready though that's what i'm wondering i said oh, when i put up a catering order for easy so, cater okay yeah what's your name uh, just my marathon maybe marathon marathon yeah thank you well we know we're gonna have to not show that much footage because the eye of the tiger is very loud oh the tiger see you in a few guys Alrighty, guys we are here trying to put this bottom on my delivery bag and actually the food's actually ready i'm just gonna pick up what's left of it it's one more box in a bag but it's ready so there's that we're gonna have to use two bags which is fine let's see what song's playing now one more box i think Setting up. He said there was one more box. So I just come in just to double check. Sorry, thank you, thank you. All right, guys, hopefully nobody steals our stuff. And then I'll go in just to double check. But he said there was one more box that we needed. So we're just loading up some of the bags here. Put that to the side for now. And we're load these up. I think they're big enough. So they fit here perfectly. Let's check it out. Oh man, that's love. Isn't that love? When everything just fits perfectly. I think it's awesome. Let's see. I'm just happy it's ready because IHOP isn't exactly known for, um, you know, being fast or anything. Let's see. And I think all of these could fit in one bag, actually. Yeah, I think it's tall enough that it won't, uh, When they close, when they close, oh yeah, it'll close, it'll close, look at that. It'll most definitely close. And what's in this other bag? Let me see. It's, um, oh, well, it's just like butter and utensils. Yeah, yeah, butter, utensils, and like, um, syrup, which makes sense. Right, put that there. And then I'm just going to double check that we still have one more box. If not, I think we're ready to go. Let's see. That's it. Thank you so much. Alrighty, guys. We're on the road. We're only four minutes away here now. It says when I get there to call this number because technically they're closed. So when I call, there, someone's going to come and meet me, which is great. Um, but yeah, two bags, as you saw. I was really hoping to use one bag, but, you know, really couldn't push my luck there. But... The food was ready, so there's there's that. I hop and the food being ready is rare sentences, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, so today we're gonna have a pretty productive day, I think. After this, we have a Zifty lined up a little bit later. Uh, let me double check here what time that Zifty is. Just double check here. Oh, there's another one. Just see, I'm guessing somebody must have dropped an order on Zifty because I just saw one pop up. But it's literally for right now, which is literally impossible for me to do. But yeah, we got a Wegmans, but that's a little later, around 10.50. So after this, I don't think I have a schedule or anything. So we might just uh, see if we can dash now. If not, we'll go home for a little bit. I'm not really tripping about it. Uh, and then come back out. Because after this, it's 40 bucks in the back, one order. So yeah. Anyways, we'll see you guys at the drop off. Hey, uh, is this Brett? Yes. Hey, Mr. Brett, I have a delivery from IHOP. So it's a call when I was here. Okay, does he have like a card or anything? Or is that just a lot of stuff? I don't know if it's maybe. Yeah, I'll send a couple people out. Okay, cool. Sounds good then. Thank you. Yep. All right, thanks. All right, guys. So, so to call this dude, call Mr. Brett. He picked up. So it looks like we're just, we're just gonna unload, take a quick photo. It should be super simple. Let's go. So it looks like we're just gonna do a quick transfer, which works for me. But we gotta get everything out here real quick. This is a light one. 
and then we're gonna get the heavy one. So it should be no problem. I don't know what this lady's waiting for because uh, I ain't moving yet. Oh wow, this one's kind of heavy, guys. Hopefully this delivery bag doesn't break. Hopefully not. Let's see. It's supposed to be Suite 106. So let's see here. Let's see, let's see anybody there. Oh, maybe this is like, oh. Wait, these are the guys right here. Good, how are you guys? Not bad. Perfect. Need some help that. Yeah, I mean, he said just to give it to you guys, right? So, yeah. it's not too bad. It's, so, it's all box, so it should be, shouldn't be that bad to, to carry. Sorry about that. No, you're good. Let's see it. And then Thanks, sir. you too. Thanks guys. And then I think you said like the butter and you know, all that stuff. Okay. Just this. I just gotta take a quick photo, so it doesn't have to be of you guys, so you're just basically showing that I gave it to you. Sweet. One quick second. Yeah. So yeah, alright. Cool. And then we'll just do that. Cool. Thanks guys. Sweet. Hey, appreciate hey, it. Hey, take man. care. Thank you. Thank you. You too. Hey, that was super simple, guys. Gotta love those. Successful delivery. Let's go. Alrighty, guys. So, it's currently 10.45. We're gonna hit a ride. We're here at Wegmans. Um, it's only one item, according to this thing. So, we're gonna try the Market Cafe area. I've been to, to this Wegmans before. The order's really small. It's paying like $19, but it's barely going like two or three miles, I think. So, figured why not. Uh, but yeah, so to doing the last drop off of my hop, there's some editing, not enough though to finish the video, but enough that it was, it was uh, you know, time well spent. So hopefully we can find this. I don't even remember where I went last time. I wish I could, just to save time, but uh, yeah. Look at this, notice to all competitors, prior to conducting your tour, yeah, interesting. People actually, people actually come in and scout other prices, couldn't you just do that online? See if we can find uh I'm gonna ask this lady right here. Actually, you know what? I think it's to the right. Right over here. Mm, just kidding. Yes, Excuse me. I'm, I'm picking up a catering yeah, order. They you know where next I go? to the service desk. Okay. Thank you. So yeah, it used to be over there by the other area. So now they moved to the service desk she said so I guess you guys will get to see what Wegmans looks like although I'm pretty sure Wegmans is nationwide I think um, let's go find the customer service people desk or whatever let's see right, I'm just picking up our catering order Uh, it's for Whitney and Turner, one relaxed reception. Whitney slash Turner. I'm not sure. It's an easy cater order up here. That's not a meals to go order. Is it groceries? No, it's, it's like a catering order. Oh, easy cater. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what that is. I've got to do this. No worries. Side. It's okay. No, you got, it's okay. No problem. Thank you. Okay, cool. No problem. Gonna give it a few minutes to do that. We are back. All right, guys, we're back. We're coming to get a cart, so we got a cart. Sorry. I'm just gonna go ahead and wait. She said it's ready, so. Ooh, so sorry. Sorry. Yes, easy cater. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. There's more cut. Gotcha. Uh-huh. Okay. We have the pinwheel, we have the croissant, we have the easy tray. 
we have the veggie tray, and she's getting the fruit, and we have the pencils, the honey pencils. Thank you. Cool, and that's all. There you go. Thank you so much for your help. You. Have a good Take day. Sorry Thank you. Sorry. That's okay. Thank you. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Alrighty, guys. Hopefully, this lady can back up because she is a terrible driver. I wish I was recording earlier when she like literally almost backed into that Buick, and she might do it again. Jeez. Some people are too reliant on cameras. Hey guys, we are leaving, uh, I almost said Wendy's, Wegmans, we're leaving Wegmans, and like I said earlier, I forgot, today is Valentine's Day, happy Valentine's Day to you guys, if that's something you celebrate, I'm not gonna lie, if I could, if I were to add up all the money that I spent on Valentine's Day over my years, you, I could have a whole other car probably, but anyways, we're not doing anything today, it's like a normal Wednesday, so we're probably gonna do something on the weekends, all on the weekend, you know, so... Yeah, but anyways, we're only six minutes away. The order is pretty small, so I'm cool with a $19 for the payout. Um, but yeah, so anyways, let me get this dropped off, and then uh, we'll see you guys there at the drop-off. So hopefully it's smooth. Uh, it's got to be going to some kind of office building. I think I've only ever delivered one, I think it's either deliver or, eat or zip the order that was going to a house. Other than that one time, everything's always been to an office of some sort, you know what I mean? So... Yeah, we'll see you guys in a few. Let's go. Alrighty, guys, we're going to a construction site. Alrighty. Cool. So, como, bueno, son dos bolsas y como dos trayers. So, that's a key. Uh, and you have to love. Uh, kind of weird they were like oh we messed up the last couple deliveries so we gotta do it here <laughs> I was like what how does that make any sense but okay I guess it's solamente eso solamente le ocupo una foto están allá para que se lo puedan tomar a la foto a la comida tienen ocupar la foto ocupar la foto para si no no está bueno para ahí ve Ahí está bien. Está bien. No, todo. Chavalito. Muchas gracias. Gracias. Alright, guys. Got that dropped off here with the construction guys. They're pretty hyped. Hopefully, it's for them. Uh, confirmed. Delivered. All done. Let's go. Guys, we got that dropped off at the construction site. And look where we're at. Chipotle. Now we're in. bucks a couple of miles could almost go up i wish i knew how many boxes though but uh let's see if it's ready see okay okay gracias we got our first box <laughs> this, is like, this box is empty guys there's one thing in this box Okay, muchas gracias. Gracias. Well, guys, we got it. So, I saw the address and I saw it was a shopping center. I thought it'd be the PetSmart. Guys, we are delivering this Chipotle to the Dash Mart place that I've actually never been to. I don't think, because the orders are always trash. But how funny is that? So, I double checked Suite 180. It's right here, the Dash Mart. So we're delivering some Chipotle to Dash Mart. That's uh, 
Let's see if technically they're DoorDash, right? So we're DoorDash tip. I guess I should hope so. But yeah, they're technically DoorDash. So let's see if DoorDash is going to tip well. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Anyways, put this down right here. That's why I said going inside. That's why I said ring the bell when you get here. I'm guessing the door is always locked or something, so you gotta ring the bell. I don't know. We're gonna find out together in about a minute or so. Let's see. Pretty sure I pressed it. What are you doing for uh, Calvin? Cool, cool. Should I just follow you or give it to you? Or? Uh, uh, all, right. all right, cool, man. Sounds good. Everything's there, utensils, the chips. All right. Cool, man. Thank you so much. Thank you. Cool. Thanks, guys. So there we go, guys. We just delivered to Dashmore. Did they tip? How did, how did, look at that. They're asking me, how, did, how safe did you feel? Very safe. Submit. And it was just 18 bucks. You know what? That's not bad. 10 bucks and then an $8 base pay, 18 bucks. Whew, how funny would it be if we get an order from Dashmart right now? Nope, we're getting some flower boutique that's super far. Oh, you know what? Flower orders are probably gonna be super busy today. Anyways, I'll see you guys on the road. Hey guys, so we made it back here to the town center declining a bunch of low paying offers. And then this one came along, 15 bucks, three miles, two drop offs from Chipotle. The food was ready. So you know what, today we're having I'm afraid to say. I'm afraid to say we're having a great day, and next thing you know, it gets slow. Because I feel like it's going to happen. So I'm hoping that it doesn't happen, you know? But, yeah, what a day. I mean, delivering to Dash Smart, that, that was so random. You know, they're very festive in there. A lot of, a lot of Valentine's Day stuff. Again, I've never been there because all the orders are bad. All the orders are terrible. Um, or maybe I'm just so far away, and then I get the offers because I can do the alcohol thing. But, yeah, every time I near it, if, if there was ever a time to get a good one, it would have been right there when I was right next to it. Didn't get one. Kept getting these floor deliveries that were also trash. But yeah. Anyways, hopefully you guys are having a great day because we're having an awesome day. Absolutely killing it with the uh, catering from Deliver, then the catering from IHOP, then the catering from Chipotle, and now the catering here from, well, not catering, but normal order from Chipotle. So yeah. Anyways, we'll see you guys in a bit. Guys, after dropping off the orders from Chipotle, we went through a slow period, like always. And uh, here we are at, technically it's a Sunoco gas station, but it's also a 7-Eleven. I don't know. We're just picking up some wine. Let's see if it's ready. Hello. I'm just picking up a order, a DoorDash order. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Nice. Two little, four little wines. Let's go. Okay, guys, so as you saw, that order was picked up super quickly. That lady, either I look old, which, you know, I am. I'm finding more and more gray hairs. Um, but she, no idea whatsoever. But I think they just rely on the facts that they probably they probably think <clears throat> the apps are sending the drivers and the app must have verified the drivers are old enough. You know what I'm saying? So we're three minutes away. Current time is one o'clock. So it's about to be very, very slow. So we might even go home for a little bit and then come back on a couple hours. I'm not sure. Um, but I think I'm gonna do that because it's typically a super data from like two to four, you know? So I don't know. We shall see, but overall we're having a pretty good day. Right, Let's go. Guys, quick update. It's currently 2.25 and I decided to stay, kind of regretting it, not gonna lie. But we had an extended lunch break and then this order comes along and I'm like, you know what, 20 bucks? Why not? So we picked up the order, or it's, just, it's a stack from pliables and i had to take that stupid picture where you got to make sure that you know it shows the name and the receipt it's so complicated for no reason like why are they doing these dumb updates anyways then i go to the other restaurant and i have to type in the last four letters of the order or whatever so we got both of them picked up now the first one's 15 minutes away and the one after that should be like five minutes away but yeah after this we should be over 100 bucks so halfway to 200 you know so you know, baby stepping in, I guess, to hopefully 200, but bare minimum 150. So, yeah, we'll see you guys in a bit. Righty, guys, it's been a minute. We got those two orders dropped off. We're definitely over 100 by now. Ended up stopping by the sheets. There's some more editing. 
because uh, it was slow. Um, so definitely a video coming out tomorrow. So I'm not even sure when this is coming out. Um, but here we are at Silver Diner for another catering bag required order showing 2225 going eight miles. Will the food be ready? All I know is that these catering orders are coming in clutch. Let's check it out. Hello. Hey, How's buddy, it going? How Good. Today? I'm just picking up a order for Ralph. Ralph? Yeah. yeah. That's what I got for Ralph. Same. Uh, this is for, so it might be like another like five minutes. Cool, man. Would you like a glass of water See or anything, though? Yeah, I'll take a water if you don't uh, mind. Sure. Cool, thanks, uh, man. Mr. Mayor, do you think you could help this guy out with a glass of water? Yeah. yeah, do you mind if it's like a cup or do you want it to go? No, it just doesn't matter. A cup yeah. is fine or... Yes, it's all good. Thank you. Wow. Talk about feeling old. See you guys in the no drinks, right? So, hey. these are the two bags that we got Perfect. for you, okay? Thank you for the, I got the ticket right there for you. Thank you for the water. You got it. Yeah, no Thanks so much. Right, you hey, hey you too, thank you. Hey, guys. And no drinks. No drinks, that's even better, because, you know, you know how it is with drinks. Uh, but we got a free water, though. Nothing like some free water. Let's get it. Okay, guys, we are leaving the Silver Diner. Yo, shout out to that manager. See how he was like, hey, it's gonna, it's gonna be a few minutes. Would you like something to drink? Would you like a water? I feel like if more managers did that, I'm not saying that we want free stuff, but it's even the fact that they're like, hey, you know, it's, it might be a while, so you don't get upset. It's basically, it's basically what he's trying to say. Hey, just in case, so you don't get upset. Would you like a water? Would you like a free Coke or whatever? You know, so. I'd be like, yeah, of course. So we got a free water out of that. And the food was basically ready. Did you guys see that little, what is that called? Like, I've seen it in the gas stations and, you know, restaurants that if you're not born before this day or whatever, then you're, you know, you're not 21. That's insane that people that were born in 2003 are 21 years old. It makes you feel so old. Wow. But anyways, man, where am I even going? I'm just going, I'm just driving along. I mean, I know where I'm going, what direction, but uh, let's see. We are only, 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 how far are we? Let's see. We are 19 minutes away. It will take that. Chill drive, very, very minimal lights. It won't be that bad. So hopefully you guys are having a great Wednesday. I almost said Thursday. Great Wednesday. So I think if I'm able to upload yesterday's, well, no, I'm behind two days because I'm behind Tuesday. And Wednesday. No, wait, today is Wednesday. What? I'm, I'm tripping. We're behind one day. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm going to try and get this out before the weekend. So hopefully we can make that happen. But yeah, you know, it's just tough, you know, going to work, being at home, finding time to edit. It takes time. It takes a lot of time. So my bad, my bad. But the videos are coming. Anyways, let me get this dropped off. Oh, after this, we're going to be almost at 150, kind of knocking on the door. I don't think it's going to go up because there's not a lot of food unless like great tippers, which is possible. But I'm thinking it's going to stay at 22, whatever, and I'm happy with that. So we'll take it. Alrighty, guys, we got the order from Silver Diner dropped off. And to my surprise, it went up from 22 25 to almost $40. So that's a banger. Let's go. It was like $38 or some change. I was like, wow. And it wasn't even that much food. So shout out to that customer for tipping a lot. And apparently, there was a 250 peak pay. Like, I was totally unaware of that. And I just remember about that peak. Wow. Anyways. We have our next 40. We just picked it up from the 7-Eleven. It was paying $9.75 for like four miles, I think, or five miles. Um, but yeah, when I got there, the guy goes, oh, I didn't hear the uh, tablet go off. And I was like, bro, I thought, I thought it would take a while. But no, he, he, he shot for it pretty quick. So now here we are five minutes away or two miles from the drop off. And we are most definitely over 150. So 200, I think, should be in the bag because we got plenty of time. It's only five o'clock on the dot. So we got two and a half hours left. Let's get guys. We got the order dropped off here from 7-Eleven. Smooth drop off. And now I think the uh, algorithm DoorDash gods are on our side today, at least for today. We got another catering bag require order. Now it's showing 13 bucks. As long as I don't see $8, $8 basically just means base pay for these catering bag require orders, okay? So seven items, Uncle Julio's, that's easily over $100. Uncle Julio's is not cheap. Now the question is, will the food be ready? That is a real question. So I'm hoping that when we get there, it is ready. And then I'm also hoping 
uh, then it goes up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because why not? Why not? So today it worked out that I didn't go home, but you know, that's not always going to be the case. I'm not always going to get this lucky. Um, so yeah. Anyways, we'll see you guys at Uncle Julio. Alrighty, guys, we are here. Oh, what? Well, check this out. I mean, you know, there are horses. That was only like a weekend thing. Um, anyways, we're here at Uncle Julio's. Maya? Ma Maya, I think so. Let's see the tree. Hello, yeah, so I'm just picking up an order for uh, Ma Maya. Ma Maya. Thank you. Well, thank you. I was hoping you'd be ready, guys. Oh, and it is ready. Nice. Cool. Just the one bag? Yeah. Okay, thank you so much. Have a good night. Wow. Everything fit in this bag? I do not believe it. Insane. Alrighty, guys, we got the order dropped off and it did go up. It was not a banger, but it went up to $14.75. We'll take every dollar we can get. Current time is $5.53, and we're just driving back to the town center so far. No real good offers. A lot of trash. A lot of. I feel like that's a new thing we're doing. It's not really new, but I feel like in my area, it feels like it's more obvious now than before. They're stacking so many bad orders together in the hopes of getting someone to take something, which I get. And I've seen them, you know, send me an order by itself and then it comes back as a stack and it still sucks. So it's like, that don't make no sense. But anyways, we're making our way back here. We're having a great day, you know, order wise. Um, but I did decline one catering bag order required from Uncle Julio's because it was going all the way to Maryland, paying $24.25 for like, 35 miles and right now to go to maryland at five o'clock that's i already know how that bridge that bridge gridlock it would not make any sense um unless i wanted to end my day my day there so my oh we're getting a order here undelivered i know you guys can't hear it but my phone is vibrating let's see if it's good or not because i got one earlier and it wasn't very good at all oh never mind it was just the one that i declined was deleted so then it vibrates again but but yeah, I mean, other than that, it's been um, it's been a pretty good day. Now I wanted to talk about, and I think I think I mentioned that on my other video before about the, uh, the the new update where it makes you take take a photo of the of the order, and then other other times it makes it makes you write down like the numbers. Like it just seems like they don't really take it through. Like you waste so much time, and already with the iPhone is already annoying where you gotta like put the photo and then angle it or if it's too dark or you gotta you angle it too high angle it too low it's like bro what are you talking about it's just a picture showing we're dropping off the order um so i don't know i think to me that's one of the silliest updates um they've done the best update they ever did was the one touch decline you know because you know how before it would ask you all those stupid questions like oh it doesn't pay ooh, 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 what is this we're gonna go ahead and take this hold on screenshot 11.25 Less than a mile, 0.5, from Makers Union, absolutely. Now, it doesn't say KDM might require anything, but 11.25, we'll take that all day. Less than a mile. Um, now, I doubt the food will be ready, but maybe it is. I don't know. But, yeah, to me, the best update they ever did was the one-touch decline. Because before answering all those silly questions like they, like it mattered, like, oh, you know, this is just too far, or the pay is too low, and this and that. All that crap didn't do anything because... In the end, they were still sending you bad orders. Um, but yeah, so anyways, now I'm just going off on a tangent. But uh, yeah, we'll see you guys at Maker's Union. Let's go. Right, so we're here at Maker's Union. Yeah, they have a pretty good deal actually for, for Valentine's Day. It's, I think it's a good deal. The three course tomahawk dinner for two. So a 42 ounce long bone ribeye, a salad, and two sides and a dessert for 150. Hey, that's not bad. I spent way more money and lesser food before. But will the food be ready? That's the real question here. Yeah. Let's see, let's see. I'm just picking up for Elias. Maybe it's one of those bags. Yeah. Cool. Thank you so much. Have a good night. Thank you. You too. Never heard that one before. No one's ever told me happy Valentine's Day before. And the order was the one that the, the girl was just bringing in. So we got lucky with that one. Let's go. Alrighty guys, we're here at the drop off. That was probably maybe a two, three minute drive, mainly because it's a lot of pedestrians today. A lot of foot traffic and you know, can't run people over. So here we are. Is the concierge there? Oh, come on. I don't see him or her, my bad. Oh no, there it is. Cause uh Thank you. Just going to uh 1028. Oh, 
cookies and s'mores. Let's see, come on, I'm gonna drop this off quickly. Why is elevators making all kinds of noises? What? <laughs> <laughs> Man, I don't, I don't like elevators when they make all these kinds of noises. Okay, we are going to 1028. Affirmative delivery, very safe. Yes, yes, yes. Just like, ooh, 1225, nice. It went up a dollar. Very nice. We're killing it today. Let's go. Alrighty, guys, now it makes sense why they have the horse and carriage because it's Valentine's Day. Um, and we got the order dropped off. Like you saw, it went up a little bit. Now, my dash ended, but I hit dash now again. And we took this order that's possibly going to be the last one. It's paying $26.57. It's going 17 miles away, but it's not going too far from my house. So if you want to stop by for a little bit, spend some time with the fam, today's been great. So I, I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. If the food is ready, though, if the food isn't ready, we're on assigning this bad boy because I feel like nobody's going to want to take this order because it's taking you out of the zone and whatnot. So if the food is ready, that's the plan. If the food isn't ready, then you best believe we're gonna go ahead and keep going over here. Um, I think we're only like eight dollars shy of uh, hitting uh, 200 if I'm not mistaken. So this order should take us to the promised land and then some, you know what I'm saying? We'll see, we'll see. We're pulling up here to the true food kitchen. Um, and if it's ready, like I said, we'll go ahead and keep it going. If it's not, we won't. But I see a lot to order, so let's check it out. Alrighty, guys, the food was ready. It's the smallest bag, but it has the receipt. I double checked that it. it's four items. It's $107, but there it literally says uh, driver tip $17.08. So I already know we're gonna get $17.08 from the customer, which is pretty, pretty, that's a pretty good tip. Um, and then the rest has to be come from DoorDash. So that's what, like a $10 base pair or something like that. So maybe it's been ready for a while, who knows? But uh, yeah, we're 20 minutes away, so we're gonna end about an hour shorter than when we normally end. But to be honest, I don't know. I just want I just want to see my family. I don't know if, if it feels weird to say but when you see everybody walking around and you know going to dinner and you see everyone with their kids. I don't know. You just kind of hit hit the heartstrings a little bit. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna go home for a little bit. Not not for a long time because I gotta go to work anyways. But it, it'll be worth it. And we already made our money, so today was a good day. Shout out to everybody that tipped well. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to all the. Uh, good tipping customers and whatnot but yeah so that's the update for right now current time at 6 14 we'll probably just see each other at the wawa when we go over the numbers but yeah guys hopefully you guys had a great great valentine's day uh i i definitely did I definitely got lucky i mean it's all luck in the end right right place right time except for the ones that you know we found for ourselves like the deliver one and the one from zifty that's a nice way to start the day for sure so i'm gonna go ahead and check zifty uh for one i do have one for tomorrow it's it's not early it's around noon paying 24 dollars um for like a mile from pop belly so that's already a good order so yeah anyways we'll see you guys in a few Alrighty, guys we're here at the wall i got to spend some time with the fam it was a great like 30 to 40 minutes um and we made i think almost 220 so that's pretty good pretty good day i think we could have hit 250 had i stayed out but it's okay anyways remember to like and subscribe we'll see you in the next one stay safe peace